Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is for the WCE Interstate Open Weight Championship, and it is scheduled for one fall. One fall. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> 
All right, folks, it's time for our next contest. Here at Black and Blue, it is Kodak Kid versus Jonathan Pierce yep. for the Interstate Openweight Championship. And you got DJ Mikey right back here to watching this fantastic match between Jonathan Pierce, the new WC Interstate Openweight Champion, versus Mr. Brightside, the and former WC All Out Champion. You want to know something crazy, DJ? Uh, this is the first meeting between these two ever. And look like they're playing mind games here. Yeah, look at these mind games. And you just stepped on them and it did nothing. Yeah. John just sitting there having a having a great time. And Mr. Brightside just, just pounding away and doing his normal doing his normal shenanigans. But and what in the heck? And you got Jonathan. He's just, I guess Jonathan can get just as weird as Mr. Brightside. That is true. Jonathan Pierce, he, they call him the executioner. But now you, you hear Mr. Brightside saying this is going to be so easy. Yeah, trying to play these know. mind games with. And, oh, tripped him down. Yeah, he went with try counter and he caught him and oh. now he got him in the one leg cross over. Some kind of leg lock. Jonathan. Giants is set up like it's not like a, nothing. Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, he's choking out. Go, uh, Mr. Brightside here. He's got the rope, and Pierce ain't letting go. No. Pierce is just laying all his cards out on the table right now. Hey, getting going aggressive with Brightside. Oh, my God. Look at the brutality. It's brutal, like... Those shots can knock a man out. And here we go. Ooh. Standing. And oh, my God. Is he running around? He's marching him, marching him around. Got him up. Oh, my God. He's up there so high in the sky. Oh! Big suplex. The old march around the march world. March around suplex. suplex. He was marching around the world. And let's look at this. Look at the shrimp. Of he Jonathan. is strong. He's like, pound for pound, he is the strongest competitor in WC. And that is, a, that is definitely true. Because he took on Sean Joe, took that title away from him. And he is showing the, he is showing the world yeah. that how strong. And if anybody comes to him, they have to come with everything they got. Right. Jonathan Pierce, he's been on a mission since coming back. Yep. An aggressive uh, mission. Taking out any opposition in his way. Oh, a leg Big drop. Leg drop right there. on his face. And a two. Barely a two. Wow. And the fans is trying to get Mr. Brightside to come to do some type of fighting back. But Jonathan Pierce is just going. Oh. Good Ooh. counter. Watch this counter from a leg drop again. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that was that was a brutal leg drop. Oh, his face. And out now Mr. Brightside trying to choke out Jonathan Pierce in the ropes. He needed to watch the count. Did he just try tickling the ref? Yeah, I don't know what's up with Mr. Brightside. Mr. And Brightside with these refs. is. You know what I'm saying? He, I think he like. He's in a whole different league of his own. I'm he's in a different world. He's playing. Yeah, a big that, kick to the face of Jonathan Pierce. And, and he'd make a good intergalactic competitor, to say the least, on Jovi's vlog. It looks like, looks like he's getting free. He cannonball? Uh, no, and miss. He we, was trying to channel his inner rock star there, I think. Yes, he was. I don't think he was trying to go for a cannonball there. It looked like he was I don't just, know what it was. He was trying to go for a good move there that... Usually he normally does, but Jonathan Pierce moved out the way, and now he's taking over here. A big, hard, thunderous chop from Jonathan Pierce. Counter for Mr. Brightside, and now Mr. Brightside just pounding away. Snapmare. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, he's got him in a chancery by the looks of it. That same chancery that defeated Craven Rage at Fighter Fray. That is true. That's the same move that defeated Craven Rage. And Jonathan is fighting out of it. And Jonathan working his way. Oh, he's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and another suplex on the bright side. He's and taking him to Suplex City, some may say, in other areas of the world. You think world. I'm afraid yeah. of a cloud? And Jonathan Pitcher is, is talking Do with Do you? the smack to Jonathan. I mean, Jonathan is taking the Punisher is punishing. I think he he's treating this man like he hates clowns. Seriously. I think he truly hates clowns. You really want to get evil? I think I've heard him say it before he doesn't like clowns. Suplex. So what's he doing? He's being a clown. German suplex out of Jonathan Pierce and a uh, painful. He oh is goodness. definitely punishing Mr. Brightside. Brightside punishing. Being the punishment of a lifetime. Yes. And this is a two-time WC All-Out Champion. Oh, misses he the drop kick. He ever went for that big drop kick and that he normally hits, but he just... Brightside just slid out of the way in the nick of time. Yeah. And now what's he going for? Uh-oh. Springboard. Oh, oh, double stomp off double the springboard. St double stomp springboard. Not 100% sure what it was, but it seems super effective considering it's keeping Jonathan Pierce down. And a one count. Oh, spoke, maybe I spoke too soon. Nonetheless, folks... Tune in tonight for our main event, Chaz J versus the Sinister, as well as the Tim Mecca tribute match between James Marshall and Nicholas Krenzen. That is going to be an awesome, especially for Tim Mecca. You know, Tim Mecca was a very inspiration to WCE and a lot of people that took part of Tim Mecca's era, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. We all know he affects the lives of many of James, uh, Crenzen, Sean Jovi, even. Yeah. Jonathan Pierce, Kodak Kid, now known as Mr. Brightside. There is so much history in Wisconsin backyard wrestling with Tim Mecca. And that is absolutely true. And that is why we appreciate you folks for tuning in today. Because this is not just for you. This is for the man in the sky above known as Tim Mecca. Because he is watching down on us, ladies and gentlemen. And every match is was dedicated to Tim Mecca. Even for the main event with Sinister taking on Taz Zay. That is going to be a good match. Everybody should tune in. It's definitely going to be underdog versus the supreme ruler. I would have to say more of... Teacher versus student. I guess fanboy versus uh, Come on. versus reality. Could be anything. But it looks like uh, Jonathan Pierce is starting to push around Mr. Brightside. And that is true. He well, went for he went for cross line and and he tried ducking out of the way. He tried to counter and now but Jonathan Pierce is just punishing him. And stomping mud just holes stomping like it's no tomorrow, my friends. Oh, he oh. just leg dropped him on the hardest part of the ring, folks. That yes. is not a that pretty was area brutality. to take yeah. Brutality at its finest, DJ. Mikey. You made a funny clown. Ref needs to get control over this, man. Yes, because Jonathan Pierce is just going so hard. I'm surprised Mr. Brightside is still in this match. I can't believe it either. He, oh. Right in the gut. But I think the ref is trying to get in the, trying to do his job the best way he can. But that Mr. Brightside is constantly trying to tickle him. Tickle the, tickle the ref, tickle oh, the or something. All right, what's going on? He's going for a pin, I think. Yep, he went for a pin. He couldn't go for the pin because Jonathan Pierce's arm was under the rope the whole time, so he could, yeah, the ref couldn't do his job. Right, the ref couldn't do it because he's technically out of bounds of the pinning square. And that That's was how just, we would consider in a wrestling ring, right? Like, uh, 
the the ropes are basically out of bounds compared to like out of bounds in football. But that was just a smart move by Jonathan Pierce, knowing where he was at in the ring to put his arm under the rope so he couldn't get caught. No. And now Mr. Brightside is waiting patiently. I think he might be going for that flying clothesline that he normally does. We'll see. He's waiting to get up. And Jonathan Pierce he's is down and, st and barely trying to get, uh, he's struggling to get to his feet. He's going, is he going for it? Oh, Mr. Brightside. Oh, the, oh my God. Ca got caught. Got caught in midair. Oh, my God. No. You know what I'm saying? Oh. My God. You just slammed him and flanned him like a goddamn pancake. Get up. I hate clowns. You heard the man. He does hate clowns indeed. Yes, he We can clowns. tell by this match. Oh. I think it, uh-oh, is he setting up? Setting up for the finish here? Oh. Will be execution. Yep. I think that's, not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what we're calling it today because that is what? I think he got the three. Yeah, he got the three. It, but he barely got it. Barely got the three. Well, Jonathan Pierce with his first successful defense. Telling the world how it is. That it's his world now. It's not Jovi's world. It's not Craven Rage's world. It's Pierce's world now. He's showing that by being on the mountaintop of the interstate. And that is true, ladies and gentlemen. Jonathan Pierce is your still your WC Interstate Openweight Champion by holding that title. Yep, yet again. It's, it's going to be a rain, folks. One for the ages. You can only imagine what's next for Jonathan Pierce. We will be back shortly, folks. In the meantime, enjoy some commercials. 